partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting through thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. And then you meet someone who changes your life. No way. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it I can't play as a joker. One little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity. <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates. Of the walls of long emptiness. Okay. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Oh no, that's a little tried, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay, one more, and I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand, there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like Trapped on this path leading nowhere. Just emptiness. Now you feel like you've got someone by your side to share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating. 
Like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Holleen. Holleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. So they're trying to um, explain, as before, how complicated the relationship between Joker and Batman is and was, and how did, how it became like this. It might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. It's the story back to the precinct. Why like see that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Okay. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So the glue grenade, that's what's missing for the vapors, I guess? So I take it you won't be testing it then? It's called field testing, Alfred. Okay, so we have like we haven't liberated or um, opened everything and the towers and shit like that. We have to go over there. So the closest place is over here. Then we have to go to there. Master Bruce, stop, Master Bruce. 
Bruce, you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go. You're outmatched by these I'm assassins. What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be my end. But it will be theirs. <laughs>